Hi boys and girls, Reverend Michael here at Sinister Sydney. It's uh, about 85 degrees, 200% humidity, and uh, it rained real good yesterday, so it's nice and muddy, so what else are we going to do but build? So yeah, we're down here at the, uh, what last year was the Pirate's Grove. This is going to turn into a, uh, to our swamp area, our swamp hag area. And today we're going to put up the first half of our swamp tunnel. Yay! It's nice and muddy, but I got my rebar and I got all that. We got a 25 foot tunnel going here, uh, crux, and then 25 foot going the other direction too. So we'll get all that going. And where do you see that? I wanted to show you my my little friend. Um, I can't swap camera here, so let's see if we can. He's supervising today. Yeah, there he is. He's my supervisor. Um, okay, so anyway, uh, I got everything laid out. I'm using three quarter inch PVC. I've got 10 foot poles. Uh, two at each one. They'll be hooked with T's or crosses with five foot in between each one. So, yeah, we got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, or yeah, fourteen and a half ten foot poles to do this one. Uh, we'll, of course, cover it with tarp for the outside, snap clip them on, and do all kinds of other stuff. So, I've got them laid out. I'm ready to go. Got my plumber's glue and all that kind of stuff. So, We'll see how it goes. I'll keep you updated. All right, so I got the first set poles glued together. I had to give them a little time. Make sure that they harden up so when I bend them, they, uh, they don't uh, pull apart. Take a little break. Got me some Gatorade. Got to stay hydrated, especially in this stuff. I sweat like a pig. Anyway, um, yeah, so got a little break. I'm walking down here almost to the spot show you I got my my main beams are all glued together and they're sealing up got a T on this one because it'll be the end and crosses on the rest and now I'm going to uh, start uh, putting in my rebar and hooking them together oh and here comes Tony my supervisor this is Tony. He lives on the property here. He lives in the haunt, actually. This is his area. And he supervises, and he's a love. Yes, he is. Aren't you, Tony? You're a love. Anyway, uh, back to it. Okay, with the first two up, see, we put our rebar in. That gives us, with a 10-foot split, our 10-foot wide area, and that gives us a uh, about a seven and a half foot ceiling, which should be plenty tall. Oh, I just can't see that one. Which should be plenty tall um, to hang things off. They'll still whack the tall guys, be in the face of the other ones, and it'll be good storm coverage too if it happens to like pour down. So there's two up. All right. Well, steps one and two are done. There's the base for the tunnel. Again, three quarter inch PVC, some crosses, some T's, 10 foot poles, 10 feet across, about seven and a half feet tall. Now I gotta go back through with the ladder because I'm short and put my cross beam supports in. All right, so the easy part's done. Here's our tunnel. Got the crosses. The cross beams. Ooh. Now again, huh, this is the easy part. Putting these up, not really a problem. One man job, I don't know, it took me 45 minutes. That's the easy one. Next part, of course, besides tarping, which that takes more than one, uh, is in the decorating. 
Okay, well, it's off to uh, build tunnel number two. Okay, so this just happened. Tony likes to climb ladders. Did not know that. He just zoomed right up there. He's good at it, too. You've been doing that before, kid? Say hi, Tony. Say hi. Yes, you good boy. You good boy. All right, so he's inspecting. He's my safety inspector, too, I guess. Just checking out, and down he goes. He's a good one. Anyway, building tunnel, building tunnel number two. <laughs> okay, so tunnel number two is done. There it is, 25 foot up this way. Same thing that I did with the last one. So we've got this puppy that comes down that way. And we go this way. And there's this one that comes down this way. So two 25 footers uh, that meet in the middle. And now I gotta pick up what I need so that I can bring that up and over and bring it down behind me so that we have the corner of our spot. And so there we go. We got them going that way. We got them going that way. <sighs> All right. So anyway, that's today's work. I think I'm going to call it a day. Um, I'd call it a night, but there's too much sunlight. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to call it a day. So I got all these puppies up. It's a good day work. Uh, working by myself, but that's okay. And uh, yeah, that's about it. That's the news from Lake Wobegon, uh, excuse me, from Sinister Sydney. And I'm Reverend Michael saying once again, see you in the funny pages.